from SCNR, Governor Glenn Youngkin signs election security order. Directive ensures only paper ballots are used and no counting machines are Internet connected. So it's not my understanding. It's not going to be all paper ballots. Oh, no, it says. Yeah, it says notably under Executive 35, Youngkin directs state election officials to ensure that only paper ballots are used in Virginia and are retained for 22 months after each election. Additionally, the commissioner of the Department of Elections is required to ensure there is a documented chain of custody for paper ballots and a daily reconciliation process during early voting. During the early voting period on election day, ballots must be reconciled against the number of voters checked into the polling location and against the number of ballots that were mailed to voters. The state is also prohibited from sending out an absentee ballot unless it has been requested by a registered voter before being mailed. Completed absentee ballots may not be counted until the last four digits of the voter's social security number and year of birth on the envelope are matched to the voter's record file. How much do you want to bet Virginia goes heavy red? Going to happen. It's going to be like plus seven red. Probably. Or just the ballot harvesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So with paper ballots, you know, only these locations, Democrats, mm-hmm. outside of whether they, uh, I, I think I think we are seeing with the uh, work permits a real risk that people are going to accidentally register illegal immigrants. For sure. But even outside of that, nursing homes. Mm-hmm. Famously, Democrats going to nursing homes and these these elderly people who are just like, I don't know what you're talking about. And they're like, just fill it out, just fill it out. James O'Keefe had the video of all this stuff. They, they do this with this policy. Should this uh, succeed in the courts? Because I, I, I bet Democrats are going to sue him to oblivion. But he's, he's, he's playing 4D chess over here. You know why? What he's doing at the executive level with the elections, Republicans challenged Democrats doing the same thing in 2020. And the court said no standing. Right. Let's see if the courts in Virginia say the same thing. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if like, nah, you're Republican, so you lose instantly. But that being said, only paper ballots. I'm willing to bet. The whole state just red Hope across the board. I think there's a good chance. In more places. Yeah. yeah. Are there other states that have a similar initiative in place right now? I'm trying to think. Um, Not that I've heard of, but they should be. Come on, governors. There is <laughs> I time. I don't want to speak incorrectly. I think some states are in the works of, of making this. Because that would be interesting. If I would like it to to be set up so that there are several states doing this so we can really test this out. I mean, will will states that... Uh, have paper ballots like this see a, a uh, notably different result than in years past and to states neighboring them. Right, right. Yeah. It's going to be hard to tell, too, since this election is, you know, the last election of the United States is it's been billed. So it could be just a higher turnout than usual. They always say that, though. This I is know. the thing about this dramatic messaging. I just get so tired of it. Like, <laughs> no, it's oh, only, it's the last one. They're ending 12 was the last one. Okay, That's when the world then why ended, did I saying? vote later? Or is that yeah, when the last election was? Democrats didn't accept 2016 and Republicans yeah. didn't accept 2020. Yeah. So the last election we had was 2012. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's where people were like, oh, wow, look at that. Obama won. Yep. Yeah. There you go. When do we get back to a place where we just agree? I don't think that's possible. <laughs> I, I agree think, with you. I, I think as people get older, the younger generations are polarized all the same. And I've I said this time and time again, the only reason the country isn't completely ripped to shreds is because Gen Xers, boomers and silent generation have lower rates of polarization. Mm. Once the silent generation ages out, passes on, then you're going to have the next generation moving in. Polarization will become more pronounced by the time it's when, when Gen Xers are in their 70s. Mm-hmm. Millennials are going to be in their 50s and 60s. You are going to have hyper bipartisanship. Geographic country will be absolutely split and irreparably. Like you, you, you literally have people who want to sterilize and chop off kids' junk. Okay, mm-hmm. there's no reconciling the political values between these people. 